and welcome back to Slay the Spire. Hey, I know that I've had a couple of issues on my last couple of videos of uh, FPS tearing and screen tearing. I looked up some possible fixes uh, on Google and I found a couple of adjustments that might work. I did a bit of a test video and it seemed fine. So let me know if everything looks fine for you guys on the front end. If there is mistakes, then we'll try and keep fixing it. If not, then, uh, you know, we'll figure it out from there. But uh, let's jump back into more silent. Here we go. I think on my second video, I make it all the way to the boss, or at least it seemed like a boss. Uh, a couple of things I'm going to implore today. I'm going to try and keep my card count low, and I'm going to try and maybe mix in a few more uh, blocks or defensive stuff for the late game. All right, let's go. Uh, let's choose a rare card to obtain, because I love that one a lot. Uh, we take a curse, but that's okay. Tools of the trade, a thousand cuts, or die, die, die. Let's go with... Whenever you play a card, deal one damage to all enemies. Interesting. Let's pick that up. Why not? All right, going forward, we're going to continue the strat of going into mega bosses when we have the chance, because I love that very much. It looks like we have one here on the left, and we're going to go ahead and dodge this uh, market over here and work our way up. If you guys have the chance, I think I'm uploading a video uh, about Stray which is a game featuring a cat. I find it to be incredibly awesome. Uh, so feel free to check that out if you have the chance. We'll play that here. So whenever you play a card, deal one damage to all enemies. That seems pretty okay, right? Uh, but the game is like this weird dystopian world where humans are non-existent and there's these robot hubs and whatnot and you fight a cat that gets lost and tries to help them out. And it's a very, very fun game, so I highly recommend checking it if you have the chance. Okay, it looks like we have 11 damage coming in. We'll go ahead and go for a block, discard, strike, defend. Wow, that card is pretty good, actually. I should have played another block, by the way. I didn't math this right. I didn't take account in for the uh, frail over here. Well, that's okay. Uh, let's neutralize you. Keep the cuts coming in. Go for a slice. And I can't quite kill him, but... I can block that. And block that as well. Do all my cards. Oh, that gives me a reason to play blocks anyways. If I have the cuts planned. I kind of like that. That's kind of cool. Alright, slime comes in. No worries. Let's play our defense. 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 Wow, a thousand cuts, OP? Yay or nay? Game block, draw two cards. Double the enemy's poison. Cost one less for each card discarded. Let's go with the block and draw two cards for now. I've been thinking about running just like a pure defense play style. That'd be kind of fun. Um, all right. Let's neutralize you. Fly weak here. We need 15 damage to kill you, which I do not have here. Let's go ahead and go for a block and draw two cards. See if we can get other options. And we do. Let's go ahead and go for a hit. Go for a hit. And turn. Are there other classes that have more defensive abilities against this type of stuff? Like cast and whatnot? I find that to be, uh... The hardest part for me to deal with so far. Ooh, I want to run a thousand cuts, but I feel like it's not worth it. I'll just go for the hit, and then we'll go for a defense, defense, and turn. No need for chip damage. Um, seven damage coming in. All right, we'll go for a block and do two cards. There we go. Neutralize comes in, which means bring down the damage to five, so I can use. My damage here, but sadly, my damage is low. Let's go ahead and play this. I was hoping for a little bit more. What do we got here? 14 health. Let's go for full lethal. Easy cleanup. Footwork. I had footwork last match, and I thought it was incredible, so I'm going to pick that up. Improves the block gain from cards. Since we have a thousand cuts, that might work out too. Can play a more defensive style. 
All right, this guy we want to kind of rush down, right? Let's go for it. All damage here on turn one because he busts himself. Kaka! Uh, I think we do a thousand cuts here. And then we play our block. Oh, I'm lucky on that. That's okay. We end our turn. All right, we neutralize you, friendo. Keep our cuts going. Uh, six damage coming in. We'll go for this. And then block here, I think. Do I want to draw more damage here? Yeah, let's do it. We're going to do it anyways. Go for the strike. In turn. Let's do flea work. Defend. And defend. Wow, that card is really helpful. Okay, next turn we should be able to kill him if we have three strikes. The cut damage should kill him, right? Ooh, not quite there. So let's do our backflip here. Get a cut in. Neutralize. Strike. And not quite a kill for us. But look at that. We're still hitting him. Wait, I'm kind of liking this build. It's kind of fun. Uh, let's go ahead and just go for a strike. We got him down. Lock potion in. Add a card to your deck. Backflip. Yes. Ooh, cow drops might be kind of cool. Whenever you attack, deal three damage back. Is that consistently? Whenever you attack, deal three damage back. Or is that for only this turn? You know what? I'm going to try this out. I don't know. The idea of just becoming a tank lord that cuts people down over time sounds really fun. All right. Uh, let's do fleet work. Go for a block. Go for a block. And turn. We non those hits all day. All day. Oh, that's a lot of hits coming in. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. Uh, okay, we'll go ahead and block. Discard one of these. 7, 13, 18. We'll have one damage coming at us. I think I was going to go ahead for the block. Kind of waiting for a thousand cuts, aren't we? There it is. Okay, thousand cuts. Neutralize. And then we have a block here that'll take us up to seven. Let's do that. Cool. I feel like this will be a longer run than normal, but it'll be a lot of fun to play. All right, let's see here. If we just go for that, we can kill this guy off for sure. Right? Do we go Survivor? Ten, fifteen damage coming in. Not quite a kill, huh? Do one damage to all enemies. I think we just go for the block here. And keep that damage in. Please stop with the weakened man. Not cool. All right, neutralize the big guy here. Yes. Go for the finale on this one. Defense, defense. Cool. We're a tank lord. Who would have thunk? Look at us. Uh, Caltrops. Strike for a kill. Neutralize. Play defense. Nice, ooh. 
Take all that. Dodge and roll. Gain four block. Next turn, gain four block. Supplies damage. Deal seven damage six times. Let's go for the dodge and roll. I think we're going to want to go by shops and discard some of our other blocks. Or even attacks. As you come to a dead end, you begin to turn around. Wall slam down from the ceiling, trapping you. Ooh, let's upgrade a card deck first, actually. What is this? Two damage to all enemies. Um, footwork gives us three dexterity. I think I want to run a thousand cups upgrade, and then we'll do footwork. Okay, let's go fight the elite boss. I'm feeling pretty good about this. Uh, let's go ahead and play. Oh, I feel like... Let's do this block. And let's end turn. We're trying to roll for cuts, right? We should wait for him to wake up. Z, 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 Z. Okay, he's still sleeping in. Go for draws. Come on, a thousand cuts. There it is. Play that in turn. Okay, so now... He's about to wake up, I think. I've actually never gone this far. Let's do fleet footwork. And then we'll do... What happens if we just, like, hit him here and don't take out his shields completely? Okay, now he wakes up. 18 damage coming out. That's fine. Let's go for Caltrops. Play defense. Play another defense. Should probably play another heal. That's okay, though. So he should take damage off this, right? Yes. Uh, we want game block. Go for neutralize. Dodge and roll. And then we can hit him here because we're at 13 already. There we go. Cool. And just slowly burn him down. Let's go. Hell yeah. Uh, let's go with... Draw two cards. Neutralize. Strike. I think it's all I got here, right? Yeah, let's play whatever. Siphon Soul. Which reduces my strength a little bit, but that's okay. We're a defensive boy. We defend all day. 6, 12 block. We can go for one of our potions here. Defense, strike, and strike. And turn. Uh, good old dodge and roll. Neutralize. Dodge and roll. Drink our other potion just to avoid damage. Attack, attack. I'll need to find a way to get energy going, so hopefully I can do that in relics. Or even like a bullet time would be helpful in this build, I feel like. Got him down to 11 damage. Hopefully we can finish him off this turn. Uh, not quite. So 5, 10, 15 on the blocks. I could do 4, which would be 5 damage. 6, 7. No, it would be 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 damage, and he would die to the thingy, right? So why don't I just go for full block? Trying to get most of his damage. Is it him next turn? Oh, I should have gone for the kill. Uh, I guess way we take less damage on our health bar. That's not bad. Okay, we're good. Got the kill. The boot. Whenever you would deal four or less unblocked attack damage, increase it to five. Whenever you would deal four or less unblocked attack damage, increase it to five? Interesting. I wonder if that builds off of my thorns. Innate, deal 11 damage, add 3 shifts to your hand next to your draw cards. Let's do innate backstab. I feel like that backstab seems really good. Well, this guy steals my shit, doesn't he? I think I'm really bad against him. Uh, let's go for this. See if we can draw a thousand cuts. We do, but I don't have the money for it. That was dumb. All right.
Give me a gold. Can't believe this man's stealing my gold. I'm not upset about it. My day is just kind of ruined. That's all. Okay, we'll start to chip him down a little bit. So I want to see if this does five damage to him. It doesn't. He stole more money, which I'm pretty upset about. All right, we gotta finish him. Where's my smoke bomb? Let's see here. Okay, so he's about to leave, right? Can I kill him off? Six, twelve. I can't do it. He's gonna steal my shit. Oh my god, I'm so upset. Thanks for the money. Hey. I hate you. I hate you. Ooh, another backstab. Yes, please. Question mark it is. As you make your way down a long corridor, you see a banana, a donut, and a box floating about. No, upon a closer inspection, they are tied to strings coming from the holes in the ceiling. There is a quiet cackling come from me as you approach the objects. What do you do? Heal, donut, or obtain a relic. At the end of your turn, lose HP equal to the number of cards in your hand. Uh, but I get a relic. Can I, if I hit M, see the map? Is there a shop nearby? There is. I can make that. I can get rid of this. Let's go this way. Got a relic. Whenever you enter a shop, heal 15 HP. Great. Let's go to shop. And then let's immediately pay for this to get removed here. The regret. So now we have the merchant's card removal service now always cost 50 gold. Oh, great. That's a good roll for us, I feel like. Uh, in terms of sell, whenever you play a card, gain one block. That seems good, too. $81 for this? When you play a debuff enemy, take five damage, draw, deal three damage, draw one card. Let's grab the after image. Seems like we have a lot of awesome cards so far going for us. Alright, let's continue forward, go to the boss, and do an upgrade. The Spore Cloud! Um, okay. Well, we neutralize, backstab, backstab, dodge and roll, then end our turn. Thousand cuts, and then we do an after image here. Just to get that in play and see how it looks. That should kill that one on the left. We're going to take a hit here, but we're about to heal soon anyways. So no big deal. Got some decent healing options. Uh, let's go for our backflip. Draw some cards. Yes, Survivor is huge. We'll pick that up. We'll get rid of our defense here, and then we'll play our cow traps. Holy crap, we're so tanky. Hey, there's our footwork too. I totally forgot I have that. Footwork, strike, defense. Beautiful. Attack motion, add a card to your deck. Draw one card, just one card. Let's do another dodge and roll, right? And you know what? Yeah, I'll do. Okay, I'll pick it up. I was thinking about just not picking up, trying to keep my deck low, but I like all these stats for me. All right, big guy coming in. Neutralize, backstab, backstab, stab, stab, stab. Uh, drink. Deal seven damage. Let's do a finisher. Make it free. Cool. Good start to this mob boss, I would say. Rare! Uh, let's just uh, play that. Play footwork and stab him in the face. Look at that. Very clean. Upon pickup, raise your max HP by seven. Sure, we'll get more tanky. Gain six block, add shaft to hand, or add a shift to your hand. Um, Only one shift? Let's, let's skip that now. Yeah, actually that sounds good because I get one extra card to play. Off of my 1,000 cuts. Let's smith. Uh, after image, whenever you play a card, gain one block. 
And Nate means it'll be here at the very start. I like that a lot, actually. Yes. 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 Question mark? Hoping for more upgrades? Among the stone and boulders, you notice an intricate large blue statue. You can remove a card and you lose 7 HP. Yes, please. Let's get rid of our Rith. A Rife. Perfect. Let's go forward. Let's do a smith here. Uh, cloak and dagger, if we hit that, we get two shivs added to our hand. Backstab, however, could be 15 damage. Maybe we upgrade those. Footwork is three dexterity, which I think is good for us, too. You know, let's get the footwork. And then I think I'll work on the, uh, innate stabs that we have. All right, battle start, boss fight. Okay, so after image, whenever you play a card, gain one block. Let's play that. What we'll do is we'll open up with a neutralize, a backstab, a backstab, stab, stab. Good. And then this is a cool one, right? Where does the intro? Yes! I love this boss fight! Okay, so footwork. We have a lot of uh, attacks coming our way. Let's go for defense. Let's go for defense. Draw five cards. We're going to make the cost of three cards in hand. Let's drink that and see if we get some cheap ones. Dodge and roll. Yes, these are actually massive rolls for us. Cloak and dagger. Let's go for the shiv and stab him. Okay, 6, 12, 18, 24, 36. We just blocked that. Good roll. Good roll. All right, time for a thousand cuts. We have our block here too, so we'll play Caltrops. And now we'll start attacking him back. Okay, we hit him. It's got burn, which is kind of annoying. But whatever. I think I'm trying to take two damage. Well, I'll be blocking anyways, right? So, that blocks that automatically. Go for hits, and I think we just stab him. What a cool build! So he hits twice, but he gets it back. Uh, we'll play Neutralize. Dodge and roll, it's free. Defense. Oh shit, I didn't read the cost on that. Yikes. Okay, though. He's going for a shield, so we'll play this defense. Uh, I think I play all these because I want to do all my cuts. So far, so good. Okay, 14 damage coming in. Kind of annoying. Uh, I think we just go for the block. 17, 14, plus two damage. We'll go for a hit, and then we'll play another defense. Got him down to 140. Nice. Neutralize, dodge and roll. Cloak and dagger. Shiv. Attack. Entered. Six, twelve, eighteen, twenty-four damage coming in. Kind of a lot of damage, huh? Um. I say we get rid of the burn here. Go for a strike and go for a defense. There we go. As a reminder, let me know in the comments below if you've seen any frame lags or anything. I'm trying to make sure it's all working appropriately. Oh, that's a lot of that's a lot of burns coming into my deck right here. I don't like that. Oh my god, and they all hit. Uh I take damage here. Yikes. Four rolls. Dude, if these cards are free, we run them all day. I love free cards. Down on 29 HP. Get rid of that burn. Good 
Can we finish him here? Six. Blocks. Not quite. Maybe next turn. Eighteen damage come in. Oh my god. Nine. Bummer. These burns and these strikes and the snake wheel are not helping me that much, are they? Down the two, though. And we get a full heal off of this. So all is well. There it is. Okay, 100 gold. Add a card to your deck. Corp Explosion. Apply six. When an enemy dies, deal damage equal to all of his HP. This turn, your next heal is played twice. Um, I wonder if this would be good for me. Corpse Explosion. When the enemy dies, deal damage equal to his max HP to all enemies. I feel like it's a bit expensive, but I could work it in later on. Yeah, I'll pick that up. That will give me a little bit more lethality, I think. Double the effect of potions. Gain energy to start your turn. You can no longer smith at rest sites. During boss and least combats, gain energy to start your turn. Yeah, that sounds good. I like fighting against uh, elites anyways. So that works out for me. Speaking of elites... We have one here on the right side and one on the far left. I think I'll go on the far left one. Um, oh, but there's no merchant on the far left one. If we go on the right one, we have multiple bosses to fight. We can actually do one, two, we can do three mob bosses. I say we do it. Is there another shop up here on the way? That I could navigate to? Uh, there is not. Unfortunate. All right, so we'll go to this one here and see what we can get. Maybe even remove a card. All right. Thousand images after image. Backstab. Backstab. Killer opening. God, he has so many shields. It's kind of wild. Uh, eight block on this one. We'll get two block from each card that I play here. So we can do Corp Explosion and put poison on him. We'll play this for a block. And that'll give me just enough defense. Uh, let's get our footwork in. We'll do a Cloak and Dagger. And we're a little bit off on defense here. So let's go for the 16. And then we'll have to take a hit here. Uh, neutralize. Cool, now we can hit. All right, we're getting through those shields. It's, it's, it's taking a bit, but we'll get through it. I promise. I find the Corp Explosion is not good here, but I think it'll be good against mobs in the future. Is he shielding up and tanking? That's kind of ridiculous, if you ask me. Uh, can I kill you? Not quite. I can, however. Caltrops. Go for defense. And I won't be able to kill you, but I can negate all your damage. Okay, cool. So now we're starting to hit him. We got our combos down. Uh, what is that? 20 damage come in? Jeez, 6, 12, 18. What if I just hit him? If I just hit him, it's 12, 8, 14, 16. Uh, it won't be a kill. So I think I go for maximum blockage at the moment. There we go. And now I finish him off. Beautiful. Block potion, love to see that. Caltrops, good. 
Next turn, draw two additional cards on Predator. 15 damage. Um, that might be kind of helpful for decision making. Maybe we'll just grab another Cow Traps. I wonder if they stack up. Yeah, I think we'll grab those. So I think they're pretty important the more that we play. Uh, let's go here to the question mark. I want to have more abilities to remove cards. Remove a card from your deck, upgrade all strikes and defends. Or we could upgrade everything. Ooh. What if I just upgrade everything? Yeah, let's just upgrade them all. Nice. So what do they do now? Nine damage and eight block? That seems pretty huge. Now they don't hold me back as much. In theory, anyways. As far as I know. Um, okay, let's get our after image up. Let's go for Caltrop. Neutralize him. Play defense. It seems like you get their HP down to half, they won't attack. So that's good to know for the future. Um. Okay. We have a decent amount of damage coming in, actually. Let's go for a block on that. 10, 23 damage. 26 damage coming in. If I dodge and roll... Doesn't give me enough, but this will. Let's say we go for a shiv. Stab them. That puts me at 25. But not a kill. I think I have to kill him. Nah, let's play defense. We'll play it safe. They'll take damage from hitting me anyways. I need to stop trying to rush it. That's the whole point of this deck. Play defensive. There we go. Uh, corpse explosion. Apply that. He'll die. We hit that. And turn. There we go! Dagger spray. Deal 5 damage if he's weak, gain energy, and draw one card. Dagger throw. I think we skip these. The AoE seems nice, but I think we skip them. We're good. Let's go to the shop. Let's see what we got. Card removal service is $50. Uh, what do we have laying around here that we feel like isn't worth it for us? Probably the survivor. Now that we have these upgraded. Yeah, let's get rid of that. Confirm. I have no reason to discard yet. Deal three damage five times. Deflect. Gain four block. That's a free block. Uh, yes. That seems great, my, my deck. But let me check these first. I start off each combat heal 2 HP. Upon pickup, brews 5 random potions. Uh, let's go for the... Uh, let's go for the block. I'm pretty good on healing, I feel like. And that builds really well into my deck. Okay, side of the mob boss. We want more relics. More relics! More! Well, that's a lot of damage coming in early, huh? If we kill this guy... I think we're good to go. So backstab, backstab. We go for a hit, and then we defend this push coming in, right? Ooh, not quite. I think his damage went up because I enraged him for killing that guy. Fleet work, block. I want to play Galtrops, but I think it's too early to do that. That was my thousand cuts, damn. Those are pretty important. I'll play them in the future, though. Right now, we're very durable. We can deal with this guy. Let's get our blocks running. Doing 12 damage, we can hit him. Just burn through our cards so we can get our thousand cuts back. I want to get that in Nate. I wonder if there's a way to do that. 
Uh, neutralize. We'll apply poison. And then we can hit him here. That'll help burn him down too with all his shields. Uh, 10 damage. Not bad. We can hit. We can hit. Because that blocks the 10. Perfect. Now we're getting them. Road. The dodge and roll is kind of good. It's kind of a nutty card. Just gives you a lot of plays. Uh, let's do double cow drop. Let's see what happens. Does it do six damage? It looks like it does. Oh, it does. Double Caltrop, so P. I wonder if I can get another thousand cuts. And I think he killed himself on the next attack. Dude, every build in this game is so fun. I have yet to play a game that I was like, eh. Deal 10 damage, do that. I think I actually don't want that. Just because it costs so much. Let's get all these. They're so spendy. I want low, cheap cards here. Okay, we know we want to kill the mobs if we can. We want to play Caltrops. We want to... Backstab. Strike. Backstab. Strike. Deflect. And turn. He is charging up. Not good. I don't like that. Don't give them firepower, please. Uh, I say we corpse explosion him. Cloak and dagger. Say we go for the neutralize? Or should we go for the hit? He's going to bleed out six poison, which puts him down to five. Ooh, I won't quite have the kill that I want here. So I think I hit him there. Shiv him. We get our block up. 9, 8, 27 damage is coming in. I think I play the Caltrops because he's going to hit me in the face, so I might as well get damage for it. And turn. Eh, this will hurt more than I want it to. So next time I should kill the guy that has a question mark. Good to know. Fleet footwork. Uh, let's go for our strike. We'll go for dodge and dodge. Still need our cuts. All right, minions. I see you. Let's play our 11 block. 9, 18, 27. There we go. I'm going to go for a backflip. That'll give me another roll and maybe some more free ones. Not quite. That's okay, though. So he's going to charge him up on strength. Oof. I do not like that at all. Good damage, though. Uh, let's go with deflect. And I think what we can do is neutralize him. Strike. Dodge and roll. Play defense. Cool. And I think we're getting them low enough to where I can maybe kill him next turn. Here it comes! More strength, huh? Wow, this one's hitting for 28. That's kind of bonkers. 
Is that even legal? Strike, dodge and roll, defense. Okay, what are you doing? Are you doing another rally? He is doing another rally. So many little demon guys, huh? Four damage apiece. He's doing 12, 24, 36. Can I kill him? 9, 18. Okay, let's play that. Let's go for the hit. I'm gonna play a backflip to see if I can get the option here to do a damage. 9, 18, we kill him. And the rest will leave if we kill him. There we go, in turn. Give me that relic! Nice! Every time you play 10 attack, gain energy. Gain 4 plated armor. And add a card to your deck. Deflect, escape plan. Draw one card. If you draw a skill, gain 5 block. I say we get the escape plan. I like drawing. Drawing is good. Both in coloring books and in video games. Okay. This, after image. We backstab. Backstab. Oh my god, my build is coming together. And it feels good, daddy. Oh my god, I love it. You do not belong here! True. Actually a fact that you say to me? Okay, let's tank up here. 6, 12, 18 damage coming in. It'll be 16. Let's go ahead and grab four more armor here. In turn. Just to avoid the damages. Uh, let's do a Corp Explosion on this guy. Let's keep playing this. If I just kill him, he blows them all up, right? Yeah! There we go! I like having one of those mixed in. Outmaneuver, gain 3 energy. Let's take another backstab. Yes, please. Go to question mark. An odd creature with a hunchback sprouting several tentacles is scrounging through a pile of trash and debris in front of you. As he approaches, he shuffles towards you in a non-threatening manner. No loth hungry! Feed no loth! Lose a relic, but you obtain a special relic. Offering the ring of snake. Um... Triple the chance of finding rare cards from combat rewards. Offer... Give him the boot. Whenever you would deal four or less buck damage. Yeah! Obtain a special relic? Yeah. Yeah, I'll take that. That sounds real good. That sounds super good. Whenever you climb a floor, gain 12 gold. No longer works when you spend any gold at a shop. Let's go to our boss. Okay, this is a stabby guy. He does a lot of damage, huh? All right, let's start with our three backstabs. Hell yes. Uh, Caltrops or Defense? Draw three cards. I think we play all of them. That will hold it. And turn. I feel like I directly countered this guy. Uh, Deflect. 6, 12, 18. If I go into attacks, it'll be 15, 16. Okay, so I need to defend one more. Get bullied. Uh, 1,000 cups. Cloak and dagger. Get a shiv. Apply damage. Go for block. Get a neutralize. Do escape plan. Go for another block. Great. Yeah, that was a good turn. That was solid. I'm happy with that. Footwork. Dodge and roll. More Caltrops. 6, 12, 18, 24. More defense. And turn. Bro, I'm so upgrading Caltrops. I can't wait. Uh, dodge and roll. Dodge and roll. 6, 12, 18, 24, 30 attack. 
Let's go for a hit here. Go for a hit here. Does he kill himself? If he within three, I think he kills himself before he hurts me. Yeah, he does. Awesome. Whenever you discard a card during your turn, gain three block. Um, okay, I don't really discard cards, but good to know. Bullet time might be good. Deal four damage whenever you draw this card, add a copy of it into your hand. Uh, let's go with... Whenever you draw this card, add a copy of it into your hand. I think I might actually run that instead of the bullet time, because then I can just go for big hits at the end. That seems like it could work out really well on this deck. Okay, after image. Uh, he's a buffer. This intends attack for five damage. 11, 22, 33, 34. Let's do our escape plan first. Let's see what that does. Footwork is good, but I actually have nothing here to stop that. So I think what we do is we go for the neutralize. Then we go stab, 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 stab. There we go. Solid blocks overall. Let's go for the corp explosion on that guy. Cloak and dagger. Stab him in the face. Let's drink three cards, see if we can get a free one. Hmm, not quite. Alright. That was a mistake, wasn't it? That was fine defense-wise. Alright, Hex means that I can't do... Oh, I can do cards that aren't attack, right? Well, let's do that. And then we need to do attack cards or we deal with the consequences, right? So that kills that. 10 damage coming in. I say we go for the dodge and roll. Not enough energy. Shit. 4, 8. Uh, I'm gonna get hit here. Alright, I'll send my turn. Ow! Alright then. Um. Well, shoot. Let's go for a backflip. I know, I know. The daze is here. Go for defense. 714 damage is coming in. That's why we block again. We'll just eat the dazes, it's fine. It's fine. Can handle it. What's the worst that could happen besides drawing three dazes? XD. Fly poison, go for poison, neutralize here. Alright. It's a little die next turn no matter what. We're good. Phew. All right, we're in. Escape plan, acrobatics, choke. Uh, more escape plan. Good card. Let's go to mob boss. What do we got here? These guys again? Okay. Oh, wow. Big damage coming at the start. And the sad part is, I actually don't have much defense, so I need to kill one of those. Caltrops will kill that guy, but this one's gonna hurt me pretty hard. I say we hit that one, go for a stab, hit this one on the back. Gotta take some damage here. What we do, we could. Thousand cuts. Attack, attack. Okay, I probably should have grabbed that dodge and roll, honestly. Um. There we go. Let's... Corp Explosion you. Go for the neutralize on you. Deflect. 4, 8, 12, 16, 20 damage in total. Cloak and dagger. And that guy will bleed out, blow up, kill that one off, and then we have to deal with this damage, so we're fine. We can keep these in play. 
There we go. Um, we'll do footwork, escape plan, dodge and roll, attack, and then just play whatever. I think we're getting together pretty well. Uh, absolutely zero damage from your boy. That's okay, though. Corp explosion on the guy with big health. Okay. He'll bleed out next turn. So all I have to do is dodge out on this. Uh, will he bleed out? I don't know if poison goes through armor. I actually don't know the answer to that. I say we just kill this guy though, right? That guy will blow up now. Hey! I was a little bit worried about corpse explosion, but it's working. Whenever you play a power card, heal two HP. That works out for me. Another a thousand cuts? Yes, please. Holy shit. Oh, hello. What are you? What are you? Thousand cuts with a plus two. We play that for sure. Neutralize, backstab, backstab, backstab. And turn. Yeah, that kind of hurt. I won't lie. But I get it. Man, I want to find more upgrades. Uh, that's a lot of damage coming in. Fleet work, escape plan. Uh, Caltrops will fight back. I think I'll load both of these up. 714, that will do 612 damage on those two hits. If I get him down to that, we'll get our health up and only take a little bit of damage. Not awful. Could be better, but not awful. Okay, not a bad find. We get a poison potion. Dodge and roll, blur. Gain five block. Block has not removed the start of your next turn. I think dodge and roll is better anyways. Draw cards until you have six in your hand. Uh, I think we skip out because we already have two dodge and rolls, right? We got one here. Yeah, we already got two. We're good. We're good on that. We have to remove some cards if we want to go that route. Um, okay. A lot of free cards to run here. We'll go for the lowest health here so we can give a corpse run on him. In the future. My power is a match, Kaka! That's how I imagine it sounds like. Play that. Escape plan. We get a block. Let's play the shiv here. Um, we'll play this on Yosa. That one should die now. 12 damage coming in. In turn. They get more chip damage than I like, but I like I have a lot of power cards, so I don't. I think it's too bad. This bird pick here, bird face urn, really helped me. Healing wise. Uh, okay, I think what we do is we actually play defense. 
Because I can't kill any of them, right? So I might as well go for the attacks. And play more cards for healing. Alright. Alright. We're starting to get beat up a little bit. 12, 24. 7, 8. Gives me 15. We'll go for the blocks. Dodge and roll. I really want that thousand cuts, but... It's better to play it safe here. In turn. Yeah, you guys are getting pretty strong, aren't you? Okay. I know for sure we can kill one. With our agonies, right? 6, 12, 18, 24. Yes. And then we'll have one block available. Uh, we'll go for our defense. Uh, we'll actually wait this out, because we're good. We'll wait it out. Uh, escape plan. Oh my god. <laughs> Alright, get our blocks up. This guy's taking forever to kill, isn't he? Should have probably played uh, the corpse explosion, but I'm addicted to getting this number as high as I can. I'm not going to lie. Uh, 21 damage coming in. 6 or 9, 18. 9, 18. We got it. We got it. Grab that. Dagger throw, blade dance. Let's grab the deflect. Cool. Campfire. And then we want to go for smithing, I believe. And I want to level up my other 1,000 cuts, I believe. Um, Maybe count drops. Damn, part of me really wants to level the count drops, but I think I actually want to get the 1,000 cuts up again. Yeah, let's level up a Caltrop, see how that feels. Help out with the damage. Oh, wow, I don't think I fought this guy before. The Collector. That's a name. All right, then. Let's start with some decent, juicy damage. Block. We'll look for our Caltrops. We'll apply these. So we get them out of the way. Good rolls. In turn. He seems like he's got some kind of spellcaster. 18 damage coming from him. Holy shit. That's not bonkers, bud. Alright, let's tank up like crazy. We'll start hitting those minions. Seems like a good strat in general. Apply six poison. Throw that on him. Okay. These guys are heavy on the melee. Holy shit. All right, thousand cuts, neutralize, footwork, escape plan one, draw a card, draw a card, another thousand cuts, 13, 20, 27 damage. I should go for the defense. Oh shit, well, I guess I just played that out. It's okay, if we get through this though, we heal, right? This is the boss, so we don't have to panic. No panic, we're good. We're doing all right. Corpse explosion. Let's do it on this guy. So he'll blow that up, blow that up, but new damage. Oh wow, he just instantly died. Cool. So now we have a curse coming in. Uh, we'll go for the cloak and dagger for the good old cuts. Attack, hit. Play our free defense for more hits in turn. You are mine! Whoa, 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 what is this? Oh, no. I don't like that. No, I do not. Good news is... 
He intends to block and use a buff, so we can hit him here. Which is good for this, our Nunchucko. We'll keep the Endless Agony on the field here. Get more of those coming in. All right, so he's been buffed up. He does 31 damage now, which will one-shot me. Uh, I say... The player blocks like crazy here. Negate that damage like crazy. And then we'll play the Corpse Explosion to apply more poison. Down 25 health, but we're fine. Another buff coming in from him. Escape plan. Okay, let's hit him with everything we got. Uh, block for two more cards. Dodge and roll is better. Go for the shiv. Play the deflect. Do one more block. And turn. Got him down to 58. As long as he doesn't decide to one-shot me out of nowhere. 18 damage, I have 25 health, it goes up to 24. Because of weakened and wore off. Uh, let's go for our block. Cool. Dodge and roll. Play deflect. We're at 30. Attack, attack. And turn. Almost there. Another 24 hits coming in. Let's go for our escape plan. We got our Agony, another escape plan. Corpse Explosion is available to us. I say we go for the Neutralize, and we just finish him off with all the Agonies. Yes! Boss 2 is down. We are looking good. Add card to your deck. Whenever attack deals unblocked damage, apply one poison. That might actually work out really well for me, and I don't have to play it right away. Whenever an attack deals unblocked damage, apply one poison. And also built into this. Let's do it. Let's pick it up. Gain energy at the start of your turn. You can also no longer obtain potions. Gain energy at the start of your turn. You no longer rest at rest sites. Gain energy at the start of your turn. You can no longer see enemy intent. Let's go with a Sozu. I think I like that. You can no longer obtain potions. That's fine with me. I haven't really need them too much. And the extra energy will do well, especially on turn one for us. Okay, so we have a lot of money. Let's check out our elites real quick. We have one on the left, two on the left. Do we have a shop on the left? We do. Uh, we also can go that way. Okay, we can go this route and hit both elites. So let's do that. We'll go to the shop here first and see if we can uh, buy some stuff as you do at shops and go from there. Um, okay, cloak and dagger. Uh, let's try and kill one. 11, 22, 33. Not quite a kill on this guy, huh? That's a bummer. Four damage, get some low. Should I go for a block? I should go for block. Okay. He's down to 2 HP, and then we'll work on the other one. Corpse explosion would be huge here, I think. Uh, which we don't roll yet. Duo roll our Venom, Which isn't quite there for us. 8, 16, 24 damage coming in. I can block... 9. Okay, let's see how this looks. Go for our block. We're at 15. That's 16. Caltrops will get up. Uh, 5 damage blocked. So we go for that. Go for the Caltrops. And I think I actually want to play the Endless Misery. Eh, we're still at full health. We'll hold off on the Agony. One hit will hit here. He'll die. So that kind of saves me a little bit. But now I'm kind of stuck in a weird timer with this. Okay. Just try and get these guys down low for now. Well, we can. That guy will come back on the next turn, but that's fine. There we go. Corpse explosion. Neutralize. 
Dodge and roll. Let's get our defenses up. And then we'll be fine. Once we kill this guy, he'll do 50 damage to everybody and we just clear him out. Which I could probably do next turn. Uh, a thousand cuts the best here. Apply that two damage to all enemies. This guy will hit me 16. I think it's actually better for me to go for the block. Okay, now play this. Just want to make sure I have the options. And then we just hit this guy, right? He'll bleed out. Poison connects. They'll blow up. Um. Yeah, we're good. There we go. Perfect. Whew. I feel like I was overthinking that for a second. Escape plan, yes. More card draw that's free. Oh my god. Hello, card removal. Okay, what do we want to get out of here that's not really helping us too much? Dodger rolls fine. Caltrops is fine. I have actually... I haven't played the Envenom too much. I think I just get rid of regular attacks, honestly. Yeah. Everything else is just, like, kind of useful in its own form. Let's do it. Let's get rid of the attacks. Uh, what do we have here? Deal 8 damage, draw 1 card. Gain 1 artifact, exhaust. That's a free card to play. Whenever you play a debuff on enemy, they take 5 damage. I mean, yes. Let me check these real quick. Whenever you charge up a draw pile, gain 6 block. Every time you play 3 attacks in a single turn, gain 1 dexterity. Bottom pick up, gain 2 potion slots. Let's go with the Abacus. Block is good for us, for sure. And I'm all about the free cards. I don't know what an artifact does. I think that's the one thing that uh, sets you up for nullifying spell damage, right? Okay, we'll go here, and then we want to cut up to this left. Let's do it. Ah, uh, they have thorns. In there. All right, footwork. Uh, let's go. Oh, I should have played after image first. That was a mistake. We'll play our block first. Play our escape plan for another draw. Let's go for a strike here. We hit that. Backstab. 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 Realize we did math wrong. Uninstall. Uh, kind of hate those dazes. I'm not gonna lie. Those dazes kind of suck. Oh, these type of spawners might really suck for me, actually. And these decks, now that I think about it. Uh, escape plan. Whenever you apply a debuff to me, they take damage. Five. Let's play that in general. That Venom will help out with that, right? Uh, we have no attacks coming, so I can play this here. Let's go for this. See if I can get a better playoff here. Oh, I could have had a thousand cuts. Order. Always draw first, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Give me the days. Hook me up. Finally, our thousand cuts. Our weaker version of it, though. Dodge and roll. I think we run both of these. There we go. So now my debuffs are hitting, so I should be doing more damage. Um. for sure. Corpse Explosion here. Caltrops. Deflect. That'll blow up and hit this guy. Huge! Poor man's getting run over. Pankia is an artifact. Huge. Let's get our escape plan out. Alright! 
right, we're looking real good, team. Real good. Okay, no, a zero, one additional energy for each time you cost. Okay, we can grab that. Because then, like, if I just don't play it, it doesn't work out for me. Right? I just won't play it. Walking and through the chaos of Spire, your thoughts suddenly begin to feel very real. Imagining a monster where the riches begin to manifest themselves in reality, the is quickly fleeting. What do you do? Fight a boss from Act, act 1. You get a rare relic. Upgrade all, all cards, but you can no longer heal. I am rich. Gain 999 gold. Cursed normality 2. Um... Upgrade all cards you can no longer heal? That seems kind of amazing, actually, for my deck. Right? I'm gonna do it. Upgrade all cards. No longer heal. That seems kind of good. Okay, let's get that. Gain our artifact. Let's get our this. Gain our caltrops. Backstab, backstab, backstab. Holy moly. Escape plan. Oh, I should play V. Oh, I should play footwork first. Whoops. It's okay, though. I think we have enough block already. Look at this. 34 block. 46 block. Hell yeah. So just in nature. Let's do our backflips. We can draw a couple cards. Masterful Stab does 16 damage. Can I kill them both here? I don't think I can kill them both yet. I think I can just hold on to it. Yeah, let's just go for a stab here. In turn. Yeah, this person comes back 100%. But then we can blow him up, right? Let's wait for our corpse explosion. There it is. Uh, we can play this. We can do corpse as well. There we go. Cool. Okay, I did take a bit of a problem there by not focusing the person doing damage. Uh, add a random skill to your hand. It costs zero this turn. Deal three damage five turns. This might be really good for me too. Let's grab that. All right, elite boss time. Battle start. Okay. Um, here. I guess we go ahead and put the corp explosion on him, but I feel like it's kind of wasteful for me. It does feel bad if like they're attacking on turn one. I don't have any tools to deal with that yet. Discard your hand to one shiv into your hand for each card discarded. Uh, say we pass on that right now. So you to get my tankiness up. Actually, if I play that, that makes more cards, right? No. Okay. Damn, this guy's kind of chucking me down all of a sudden. I don't like this. Not a fan. Really need my fortify, it feels like, earlier. Okay. What is this one? Oh, he spawns burns. Do not like that. All right, there's my fleet work finally. Dodge and roll.
Oh, jeez. Suddenly, I kind of do want to heal. Did I fuck up with this choice? Starting to feel like that a little bit, huh? I wonder if I can get rid of a relic. Mark of the Bloom? You can no longer heal? What if I get rid of that? Is there a way to get rid of relics? I feel like they'd be super handy for me. Uh, kind of feels like I need a lot of damage here. No, I can get enough healing. Okay. In turn. Bro's came out of his mind of a year. 18 damage coming in. Okay. Dodge roll. Deflect block. Corpse explosion. In turn. Okay. We win. We're good. Oof, that was rough. The next two boss, not boss chests, you open contains two relics. Great. Poison potion, apply six poison. Can't use that. Next turn attacks deal double damage. Footwork. I want more footworks, yes. I want more chance for that to show up. Uh, if I can no longer heal, then I might as well not even stop at the fireplaces, I guess. As you heads up, words, hopping from one floating shape to another, you slip and you begin to fall. While... In free fall, you consider your options. Land safely with your greatest techniques, channel a power to survive the fall, or strike at the wall to hang on to it. Lose backstab, lose footwork. We'll lose our basic footwork then. That's fine. Now that you're beyond, you discover a glowing tesseract spinning and shifting really in the air. You touch it. Uh, add three colorless cards to your deck. Let's just do one for now, I guess? Enemy loses 9 strength this turn, exhaust, gain 6 block. I say we do the block. Since it's free, and it builds into our stuff. Two primitive creatures fight over a carcass on the side of the road. You observe, devoid of emotion, watch and remember and live. This is the Watcher's mission. Okay, keep moving. Normal enemy comes to no longer encountered in question marks. Whenever you apply poison, apply additional poison. Great. Great. Battle start. All right. Which one's doing damage? Seven here. I can handle that. Let's do dodge and roll. Yeah, dodge and roll. Caltrops. We'll try and blow up this one real quick. And then just play another defense for blocks. Get through our deck. Okay, 10 damage coming in. Sadistic Nature. Dancing Block. Cloak and Dagger. Add a random skill. Unplayable. This card is carded from your hand. You gain zero. Oh, that sucks. Alright, well, we're good block-wise. We'll start clearing this little guy here. In turn. Not a fan of these thorns showing up, bud. Corp explosion. Let's do a venom. Naturalize on that. Or neutralize. Oh god, am I dead? There's a lot of damage coming in. Oh, he has artifacts, so I didn't even get to kill him. Oh, that sucks a lot. Jeez. I didn't even think about that. That's so annoying. Very strong, huh? Oh, shit.
Okay, Corpse Explosion will blow up and do damage to him. I'll defend that for now. One turn. Okay. There's my footwork, finally. Okay, and then we attack. Get to 20. Defend. Good. This is going to be a sweaty ending, man. I don't know if I can do it. I don't know if we can do it. More endless agony. Yes, please. Okay, let's go to the shop here. Fear potion. I can't do any potions. Combat rewards range now contain colors, cards, and cards from other colors. Whenever you apply a debuff to an enemy, they take 5 damage. Put a card from your hand to the bottom of your draw pile. It'll cost 0 until played. To the bottom of your draw pile. I mean, I like the idea of playing something really, really cheap. Yeah, let's grab that. Card removal. What do I feel like is not helping me that much? In this deck. Is there anything in particular that when it shows up, I'm like, eh, it's too much. I think it's the strikes. Just get rid of the strikes, man. Get him out of here. Do you like this rug? It's not for sale. <laughs> oh, thank you. Okay. Slow. Okay. Plus one slow. Whenever you play a card, Giant has to similar some more damage from attacks this turn. Receives 10 more damage. Um. Okay, so that's kind of bad for my combo card, isn't it? Wait, isn't that kind of trash? Or does it not matter on spell modes? Kind of looks like he's going to apply a negative effect on me, but if he has attack, I have to be careful on those rounds. Four. He's gonna attack me in five turns. Oh god. Uh, okay. Let's start hitting him then. I don't like you counting down. Three. Um, apply for poison, two weak to all enemies. Yes, apply that. Masterful stab, deflect. Should I be using my aimless agonies here? Two. Oh god, I'm so scared. I'm so nervous. What does this mean? My butt? One. 30 damage coming in. Okay. Uh, I think I'm dead, actually. Choose the card to put on the bottom of your pile. Oh, I pick any of these to put on the bottom of my pile. I don't like that. Uh... Oh shit, I'm dead. It's literally exact lethal. Oh my god. Goodbye. Oh my god! What a cool build though! Alright. I can clean that up. I can play that better. Also, fuck this thing in, in particular. I do not like that. I like the upgrades. Do not like that. Lesson learned. See you guys next time.